All right, this next session, I want to talk about the marquee tool. Uh, similar to with the arrow tool, um, you really need the info box uh, to get to the settings of the marquee tool. Uh, the marquee tool is, is a lot simpler than uh, with the um, arrow tool because there's really just this uh, single floor method or all floor method. Uh, there's no way to isolate out specific floors using the, uh, the marquee uh, itself. Uh, it is important to note that if you do marquee something, uh, say to stretch it out, I can marquee that area with the marquee still selected. Um, I can click a point and, for example, stretch this out 30 feet. Now, stretching that out 30 feet is only going to stretch this floor. If I go up a floor uh, to the roof, it's not going to have affected anything on that floor. Uh, here, these slabs are visible in multiple stories is, is the reason that those are, are showing up. Um, so it is important to note uh, if you're using the bold marquee um, that you are going to impact all floors. Uh, one thing that I do frequently is I'll draw the marquee and then isolate that out typing F4 um, and then I can see what stories are being affected and what's visible on each story before I make any changes. Uh, so the marquee is great for isolating stuff out. Uh, it can also be used in combination with uh, some of the other things we're looking at. Uh, so for example, if I use the Find and Select palette uh, to look for uh, walls, let's say interior walls for example, um, and I draw a marquee, uh, I could say that I want uh, things that are partially or entirely inside the marquee, similar to the, uh, to the arrow tool. So you can use this marquee tool to uh, uh, with the find and select to pick only parts that are inside a certain area. Um, there's also the option for um, custom shapes with the marquee. Uh, but again, just like with the arrow tool, I almost always keep it at the square geometry. Uh, and one thing that I do is if I need a custom shape, um, you know, let's say that there's a curved shape that I need to see, uh, or I can quickly just select this stuff. Instead of with the marquee, going to a geometry and clicking on a bunch of points. Um, I can have a spline and hold down space and click on that spline and then that marquee will follow that spline area. So you can use that with F4 to isolate out curved areas uh, with the marquee. You will notice that it kind of segments them out uh, but it's a lot quicker and smoother than trying to use the marquee in individual segments. Uh, that's really about all there is to the marquee. Uh, just make sure that if you're uh, working on a complex model with a lot of different site elements, uh, you probably want to manage that floor by floor. So for example, uh, you might draw in the bold marquee uh, and then cycle up and down different stories to make sure that you're not impacting stories that uh, you didn't mean to edit. Um, otherwise, just use the light marquee and work story by story.